Hi everyone, let's take a quick look at the divide utilities available in Tailwind CSS since version 1.3. Here's a skeleton of a fairly common UI pattern, a card with a list of items with a dividing line between each item. To create these dividers, we added a border top to each item in the list except the first one. We should let the parent element handle dividers for the whole list by using a divide utility. I'll remove the three instances of border T2, border gray 200, and in my unordered list up here, I will use the divide Y2 and divide gray 200 classes to create dividers of the same color and thickness. This is really handy, and as you can see, it still works the same. If I change the divide color to red 400, you can see it updated. Of course, you can also use dividers on horizontal lists. Here's a stat card example, and currently the dividers are handled with the border left on the last two items. Same deal, let's remove these border utilities, and on the parent unordered list, we can use divide x2, divide gray 200. You can control the color, but also the thickness of dividers. Let's make them level 4 and red 400 again. Since version 1.7 of Tailwind, you can even change the style of these dividers, like for example, divide dotted or divide dashed. Finally, in scenarios where you're dealing with the reverse order inside a flex row reverse, which as you can see will put the dividers on the wrong side of elements, you can apply the divide x reverse class to handle the situation.